Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to calculate the limit as t goes to 1 plus of t raised to the 1 over t minus 1 power. And as always, you should plug in this value into all the t's first and to see what kind of things you get, right? So when we do that, plug in 1 plus here, you have 1 plus and then raised to the 1 over 1 plus minus 1. And we have to kind of reason this out first. 1 plus minus 1 is 0 plus. So this goes to 1 plus raised to the 1 over 0 plus power. And when you have a non-zero number over 0 plus, and both of them are positive, you get past the infinity. So this goes to 1 plus raised to the infinity's power. And unfortunately, this right here, it's an indeterminate form. That means we just have to do more work to figure out the answer. So here we go. The tricky part of right here is that, the hard part right here is that we have a base t, and then the exponent here, it also has the t, so function to a function power. I will just write it down like this. Call this limit to be l, because I want to take the natural log on both sides. So let me do that. And as I said, we'll take the natural log on both sides. So I'll do it here, and I'll do it here, like that. And we have natural log of L, this is equal to, when you take the natural log of a limit, it's the same as the limit of the natural log, because natural log is a continuous function, that's a technical part. And I will just write down the limit as t goes to 1 plus, and we are looking at ln of t to the 1, minus, 1 over t minus 1, like this. And, of course, we can take this power to the front. And we have the limit as t goes to 1 plus. So, when I take this to the front, here we will have ln t. And if I put 1 over t minus 1, the t minus 1 is a denominator. So, let me write it down as over t minus 1 like this. Okay? 1 over t minus 1 put the t minus 1 in the denominator. 1 times L and t is still L and t like this. And now, if you plug in 1 plus into here, you get 0, and likewise you also get 0, and that's another indeterminate form. But the best part is that we can use Lapidot's rule to handle this. So, I will just write down, this is the 0 over 0 situation. We can apply Lapidot's rule, and I will just have to differentiate the top, and differentiate the bottom. So we have the limit as t goes to 1 plus. On the top, the derivative of, uh, derivative of ln t is 1 over t. And the derivative of t minus 1 is just nicely equal to 1. So this is pretty much it. And then we can just plug in 1 plus into this t, which is just going to be 1, pretty much, 1 over 1, and then over 1, which is, of course, just 1, yeah? And of course, 1 plus, this is the final answer, pretty much, but not quite. Why? Because here we have ln L is equal to 1. This one tells us that the natural log of the limit is equal to 1, and to find out what that limit was, I will have to do e to this power and e to that power so that they cancel. So, in the end, we see that L, which is the limit that we're looking for, t goes to 1 plus of t raised to the 1 over t minus 1's power, like this. This is equal to e to the first power, which is nicely equal to e, like that. It's a special number, e. And remember, right here, in the limit form, when you have 1 plus to the infinity's power, the answer it doesn't have to be 1. In this case, we end up with an E. So, that's it.